I want you guys to get so loud for the funniest comedian in the world, Todd Glass! Shut up. Come on, let me hear it. Play it up. Nah, that wasn't that great. I mean, oh, wow, shut up. <laughs> Look at you people, you look great. Let me get this. Do we have a music stand I can borrow? Don't worry, I'm gonna get right to the show. I told myself today, keep it tight, do a good job. There could be people here tonight. There's people here from Animal Planet. They might give me a show. It is a lot better with this. It's like, yeah, I'm just doing some shit. You wanna see what it looks like without the music? Just in case you're wondering how much the music does, stop playing. Now watch, it's all in the way you sell it. I come out, go ahead, give me a little more. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, okay. Blackout, yeah, it's a tight show, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Boom. Uh Do it if I walk, we got something for everything. Makes your show look tight, people. You know what I mean? If I'm just doing my act and then I go, so I was in the kitchen and I walked, I was like. Are you trying to do it wrong? No, I don't think he's that, I, that's a compliment to you. Bump, once you do it, once you do it, and by the way, folks, everything, I'm not really upset. I try to preface that. I know we build it in front of the audience, but it's fun because once I do it, you're gonna go like, shut the fuck up. Okay, here we go. Like every time I hit, you give me a thump. Ready? Here we go. That is not so, well, that's my fault. I didn't like it anyway. But it wasn't his fault. You did it perfect. The whole bit's not worth it. How you doing, Rose? All right, let me keep it tight. Keep it tight. Where's the light? Where's the, I can't even see the, uh... okay, so 904. I go to 9. 9.15. I'm already nervous because I can't see the clock. I told the owner, get a clock that you can see easy, and he must have misunderstood hey, me. Hey, Todd, there's a clock down there by your left foot over a little farther. He's Shut pointing the at fuck it right up. there. I know. I got you good. <laughs> ah, what? <laughs> Woo. Uh, just when you thought, I go boom, I go bang. Anybody here want to manage me? Okay, listen. <laughs> I like having the band because the old crooners used to have, they used to do shitty jokes, the old crooners, but then they would just go into one of their hit songs, so it didn't really matter if the joke got a laugh, you know? So we're gonna do this, I'm gonna set it up once, and then in my 10 minutes, I think I probably got about eight minutes left. Um, we're supposed to do eight, but this is when I start, when I get going. I'm not gonna count that first bullshit up front. I count now. Now I'm on a roll. Okay, so, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the, uh, the New York, uh, yeah, the bands, you know, they tell their joke, and then they would go right into one of their songs. So we'll do New York, New York, New York okay? So I'll just tell the joke. You'll know, because I'll go like that right after this joke. So I'll just do, like, a joke that they would do. Give me a little tsh, tsh, tsh. And come in big, guys. Can I get some reverb? Hello? Wow. Now it's a show. How about me sucking my gut in? You like it? It's not that easy. I grew up here, remember the setup. You might forget it, I take so much time. These are the old crooners, they would do their shitty jokes, and then the band would go right into one of their songs. And then we'll do it like five more times throughout the show. Oh, I'll bring it back. Once I teach it to you, you're gonna fucking love it. I grew up right around here. I remember once I went to the park across the street, I saw two dogs going at it. I asked my dad what they're doing. He said, they're playing a game. I said, what's the game? He said, it's called fucking. Anyway. These little town blues. 
All right, fuck it. You fucked it up. You did a, did you do a B flat or a B? I think you did a B flat. I looked for a B. See, I always blame it on the band. I act like, oh, I could sing if I can get to the part where I, I do the first talky part, I do a good job. You know, like if I go, like for instance, give me a lot of reverb. You know which one? I could do this. Once in a lifetime. That's singing. That's singing. That's singing. And if you don't fucking like it, you can get up. Once in a lifetime. A man meets his moment. And forever. No, oh, you. Give me, uh, give me some foot pedal. Oh my God. No, seriously, Rose, are you, I, I asked for a foot pedal. Uh, how about that? JD's laughing up a storm back there. <laughs> Once in a lifetime. I just want to see if they're paying attention. Give me a little backup. Bump, bump, bump. Perfect. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm not some piece of shit. What am I, a piece of shit? Bring it down a little bit. Don't make a meal out of it. Pieces of shit, these guys. <laughs> Why is mean so funny? But I don't, mean's not nice, but it is. Calling you guys, you're so talented, it's so obvious. And then to be able to be the guy out here, you have pieces of shit. You're all pieces of shit. You look, you don't kick your fucking head in in front of this whole audience. Once in a lifetime, a man meets his moment. Who wants to manage me? Anybody want to manage me? Oh, she's gonna put your hair up? What am I, fucking loot of crap? Am I a hot bag of shit that you don't give a fuck? I bet if fucking uh, some performer you like you were playing for, you wouldn't be wrapping your hair up in a knot. Thank you. Bring it down a little bit. I love you, I love you, I love you. And I'm, I'm having so much fun. The, the popcorn looks sloppy, but... <laughs> try to, you know, maybe pretend it's a nice place. Ladies and gentlemen, can I get some reverb in my voice? Please, hello. I had a dream, ladies and gentlemen, that I opened up a McDonald's franchise at my house. And it wasn't just some little airport McDonald's, it was a full McDonald's. I'm talking everything. And it was, in my dream, I had it connected to the house with a breezeway. And it was nice. And everyone got health benefits and I didn't make them wear those wretched uniforms. And I went in there, Monday morning we opened. And I went up to the counter, they're like, how you doing, Todd? Thanks a lot for the health benefits. I go, thank you. Can I get an ice cream? They go, sorry, our ice cream machine is broke. I'm like, are you fucking shitting me? Even in my dream? There will be a one hour intermission. In my dream, oh, the, you know, you think everything, you don't know, folks, until you own a McDonald's and it's connected to your house. Isn't that great? Isn't it? You go to McDonald's and they go, uh, uh, sorry, we don't have ice cream on our machine. We just cleaned our machine. Have you ever heard that? Yes. Yeah. I should do a bit about that, right? That'd be funny. Imagine what I could do with that. No, they always go, they go, sorry, our machine is, uh, we just cleaned it. I go, I'll come back when it's dirty. What? what? Once in a lifetime. Um, I guess it's time for me to wrap it up, right? Oh, no, down here. I don't know what time I came out. I know this is unprofessional, but I'd breathe easier if I just knew, how long have I been out here? Eight minutes? Eight minutes and 35 seconds. Wow, thank you. How come your mic's louder than mine? <laughs> Woo-hoo! Oh! Anything's a play, watch. Mama! <laughs> That's right. Look at you guys. Bum, ba, da. If I take my jacket off, you could do that. The next show. No one's expecting it. Now you're going to expect it. But picture you just come to see my show. You know that music you just did, sort of? And I just take it off. But the band, you know, they fucking know you because you've been playing together for like five years. Even if you take your jacket off, 20 minutes into my set, I go, well, you're a very nice audience, ladies and gentlemen. Forget it. 
Right. Usually when a comedian takes the mic, he knows he's got to wrap up. I'm moving things further away, insinuating, I'm not aware that I have to wrap it up. I'm bringing other things out. People are like, hmm, he doesn't look like he's wrapping it up. I wanted to talk about my cat Murphy, but all I can tell you is he's so fucking cute. And I've only had him five months and I'm fucking squeezing the shit out of him. I can't help it, he's so fucking cute. I pinch his cheeks hard and he loves it. I don't know if I'm losing my mind. The other day I lifted him up so he could look in cabinets and I go, am I doing this as a joke or do I? And he looked interested, I'm not joking. He was like, oh, okay. And I said to him, I go, Murphy, you'll never know what I do. And I, I meant it, but I know he doesn't, I get it. I'm not, like, you'll never know what I do. And then I, wouldn't it be great if I brought him to my shows? It's not like you go, turn around, his fucking cat is here. And it's not like he's just sitting there. He's visibly interested. He's like, well, yeah. wouldn't that be great? I had to, uh, one thing, I had to bring him to the vet. I didn't like it. So I said to my friend Andrea, this is true, will you just bring him to the vet next time? Let him think that a stranger took him somewhere, they stuck a needle in him, it doesn't have to be me. So she was very sweet and she was, I'll bring him to the vet for you, you know? And then I didn't tell her this, but when she brings him back to the house, I'm gonna take the cat and then push her down the stairs, you know what I mean? And show the cat, all right. Here's what we're gonna wrap it up with. Thank you so much, this is fun. I know the guys are gonna close it out, but I have one last bit and then I'm gonna say goodnight. This is so much fun. Do you guys, does anybody wanna sleep over? No? You never know. Anybody have $100,000? I'm trying to do a run of my show on bro. okay? You just say it in passing, that way it doesn't seem bad. How about if you just give me a thump when my jacket hits that next time? Watch, like when my jacket hits it, just, no one knows. I'm like, anyway, you guys have been a lot of fun tonight. Uh, you'd be shitting in your pants. <laughs> Think of the next crowd that sees me. They're going to be like, God, they know his act. <laughs> Boom! Why do I like that so much? It's not normal. About five years ago, I was at the Cheesecake Factory. I'm setting this up quick. I apologize. I was at the Cheesecake Factory, and I heard a woman say, oh, I wish they had food. Uh, like a food like this and a cheesecake factory had a cruise with good food like this. She said it shorter. And uh, <laughs> so uh, I thought that was funny. The cheesecake factory having a cruise, it would be so gluttonous. The announcements, now, ladies and gentlemen, you know, just food items. These are the things for in between your meals. Eat your height and meatballs, you know, and people would love it. Can you do like a, uh, um, what is it called? A cruise, just give me like a cruise ship horn or whatever, any horn. Yes, perfect, perfect. Go ahead. Yeah, you keep going. You know why I want you to do it all? Because if I was a cruise ship captain, I'd blow the horn a lot. Seriously. People would fucking love it. They're paying a lot of money. They're in this little shower. But if they're in the little shower... Oh, you... A boring couple, they've been married 20 years, sitting across from each other, eating dinner, miserable. They want to both blow their heads out. But if they're doing it with this, it's like... They're happy. So here it is. I'll do, I'll do half of these. This is, this is your captain. This is your captain crunch, ladies and gentlemen. You know, people are like, oh my God, I love that. I love comedy. Um, join, us at, uh, join us at 2 a.m. Adults only buffet. Swap plates or partners with another disgusting couple. You got every time I finish one. Well, not after I say to do it. <laughs> At 4 a.m., get a big bucket of shrimp with the shit in it, just the way you like it, you fucking fucks. Remember, folks, everything in your room is edible. <laughs> but did now that the, the, the captain decides if the jokes aren't good. <laughs> Remember, every morning we fill our pool with margarita mix. Make sure you show up early before it turns to hot piss. <laughs> Shove fudge up your ass as part of our wellness program. You don't, at our wedding package, we throw rice pilaf. Blake Wexler wrote that one. It's so hard, it's so juvenile. We throw rice pilaf instead of rice. I hope he dies. I hope he's in New York and there's another 9-11 and it's worse than the first one for writing me that shit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Good night, everybody! Keep it going for Todd Glass, guys! Oh, wow.
this microphone is wet. I look at the world, I see where we're at. Tell me, sister, how did it get so bad?